Hey guys, it's Nadi, and today I'm going to be showing you how I made this reversible wrap dress for my dog. This idea was inspired from seeing the popular wrap dresses on YesStyle, and then someone else gave me the idea that I could make it reversible. And so now you have this two-in-one dress for a dog, because uh, obviously my dog doesn't have enough dresses already. I thought this idea was so unique and cool, so I'm going to show you guys how I did that. So to put it on, all you have to do is secure the neck piece with velcro and then wrap the ribbon loosely around your dog's stomach. And finally tie a bow on top so your dog looks like a furry present. And to wear the reverse side, all you have to do is take it off, slip your dog's head through the neck hole, and tie another bow. You're going to need two different fabric prints for the top side, two different fabric prints for the bottom side, the top piece stencil, the skirt stencils, two inch pieces of velcro, some ribbon that matches your color scheme, a hot glue gun, some pins, scissors and a pencil, and a sewing machine. So because I'm lazy and don't want to trace out the whole thing, I fold my fabric in half and then place my stencil over it to trace it. Then I secure it with some pins so the fabric doesn't shift around when I cut it and then I use my scissors to cut it all out. Then I do the same thing with the top piece but with the fabric I'm going to use for the reverse side. Next I'm using the same two fabrics to cut out the trim portion that's going to go on the bottom of the skirt. Now I'm going to cut out the main portion of the skirt with the other two fabrics that I have which is this yellow gingham print and a plain white color. And here are all the pieces assembled. Then I lay the top pieces on top of one another but with the right sides facing each other. Now you're going to sew on the lines shown. From there I measured out 22 inches of ribbon and then cut out two pieces. For the next step I slid the ribbon in between the top pieces and then pinned them in place on both sides. Then I sewed the ribbon down on the two edges. And for this you may want to do a forwards and backwards stitch since this place seems to be stressed out a lot. And here I am flipping the product inside out with a pair of chopsticks because I'm Asian. For the next step, you're going to lay your trim on top of the skirt with the right sides facing each other and then secure them in place with pins. Now you're going to sew along the bottom edges, removing the pins as you go. Next, I laid the bottom pieces on top of one another, making sure the right sides were facing each other, and then secured that with pins. Then you're just going to sew along the entire bottom edge and flip it inside out. For the next step, I laid the skirt over the top piece and pinned down little pleats. Then sew along the top edge. Next, I folded down the top piece's edge so the raw edge wouldn't be shown and then pinned that to the dress. Now you're going to sew that in place, removing the pins as you go. Here I am sewing down a ribbon to cover up the not so straight stitches on the other side, but then I realized that looked ugly too. So I resorted to my handy dandy glue gun that always works when you can't sew straight apparently. Then I hot glue gunned one side of the velcro to the neck piece and then flipped it over and did the same thing. And now you have this bib looking thing that'll look cuter on the dog. And here is the finished product. I think this design was so unique and a good way to get more uses out of a dress. Bella was also very happy, she got a lot of treats and loved the modeling shoot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.